Hi here, Mike Murphy, Gay Byrne, Rodney Rice, John Bowman, Liam Nolan, and I've had them up to their gate. It goes on year after year after year, woman. Do not exist in radio. We are an invisible species. Direct, witty and impossible to ignore, Nell McCafferty was for a time the face and voice of Irish feminism. She first became involved in politics during the civil rights movement in her native Derry, then moved to Dublin where she worked first with the Irish Times and then as a freelance journalist. I'm busy all day in the courts doing both the column and talking to people. I get involved in an awful lot of social work. As well as groundbreaking court reporting, she also wrote about major national news stories, including the Kerry Babies Tribunal. We have understood that never again will you have an all-male squad of men sitting in judgment on a woman. Nell McCafferty was an outspoken advocate for women's rights and was a founding member of the Irish Women's Liberation Movement. In May 1971, she was on the so-called contraceptive train from Belfast to Dublin. Of course the country changed after that. Of course people said, what are we? Who are we? Let us now discuss in a rational way sex, pregnancy, romance, etc. Nell frequently appeared on television and radio programmes, unflinching in her views and beliefs. You are my heart's delight. She was in a relationship with writer Nuala Ofuelon for over 15 years before they separated, working together on a television programme, Nell finishing each episode with her trademark sign-off. Good night, sisters. The feminist campaigner, journalist and author died in the early hours of this morning, aged 80.